Hello and welcome to this Create Studio tutorial video where I show you how to make a mind map, an animated mind map in Create Studio. Now this took me some time, you can see I've made it here. It took me some time to figure out. I don't find Create Studio the easiest thing to use, but hopefully me figuring this out, I can save you some time. So first of all, what I'd advise you to do in Create Studio is to just add everything in. I'm going to just collapse all these tracks down here, add everything in. You can see here I've got a camera movement. We're going to do that last. So build everything in in the order you want them to appear. So what I've been doing there is this is the first thing I want to appear. And so I put it down for the whole duration of time. The next thing I want to appear is the text. So that has to come some way after the first thing that appears. Now, I originally put these in a logical order, but then I moved them around because sometimes the hand was under one of the elements and that didn't look particularly good. So the next element is this arrow. Now to get the arrow, I go up here and I search for arrow and I click on the arrow. So I'm going to pick this arrow just to illustrate the point. It always comes in as white. So I went and changed it to black. Then I resized it and I rotated it as I wanted. But I'm going to delete this arrow here. Whenever you add text or shapes, it doesn't give it a very good name. So this is an arrow, but it says shape. And guess what? Every element you add says shape. So you need to go in and rename them into something useful because when you've got, I don't know, 23 elements, it can become a little bit difficult. So I'm just going to delete this. So you go through and you put things in in the order you want them. Now, what you need to do next is you need to go to your first one, which we said down here was this paint dab. I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. You need to click here on the plus and you're going to get a doodle setting. Now I'm quite happy with this one here, which is the default, but we could have this here, which is glass board. So you can see that there. Again, it doesn't quite look right, does it? That one. So I'm going to click on doodle settings and I'm going to go and pick the default one. I'm pretty happy with the default ones on automatic. So then when we go to our next one, which is going to be the big G video text, we want to make sure that once this has finished drawing, that's what we don't want. Can you see that? I've got two hands here. Now that would just look weird. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to shorten this so that it's finished drawing before the next one appears. So that's really what we want to do. We want it to finish drawing before the next one appears. So if I play this, you can see each element has finished drawing before the next one appears. Now, that was really interesting there. Now, okay. Right, so can you see this hand here is underneath the arrow, which isn't very good. So this is arrow two. And what's being drawn in is now podcasting two. So the way around that is to just put this above arrow two. Doesn't matter really where it goes. So if we can see, can you see that is now on top of the arrow. Now we're getting with arrow two, we are getting a little bit of overlap. So I'm just going to make this smaller. So we've got more room to play with. So here's arrow two and that's being drawn in here. And I'm going to collapse that down. Now this podcasting two, you can see we've got a very slight overlap. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shorten this and therefore we won't have that overlap. So now nothing's being drawn and now that's being drawn and it's being drawn above the arrow rather than having the hand beneath the arrow. So then once you're happy, you need to just go through and check there aren't any errors. So one thing that happens is the text seems to move along. There isn't really anything 
I can do about that. It's not too noticeable. So just going along, checking everything is appearing at the right time. There's no there's no double hands and the hands aren't underneath the arrow or the writing. Now, once you're happy with that, collapse everything. You can see this is now quite complicated. You'll notice I've got this zoom in and zoom out. We zoom out, we pause for a bit and then we zoom out again. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go to camera and I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this here. So I'm going to go right to the start and I'm going to put one of these in and this is the camera moves. This section is first camera and this section is second camera. So what I want to do is I want to move us along and expand. So we have a look at this. We start off in the center, everything we can see, and then we start to move out. Oh, got a double hand there. I'm going to go back and adjust that. So we're OK in this bit. And now once we get past this bit, we're going to want to move out again. So I'm going to put a camera in here. I'm going to move this along and I'm going to go to this side and I'm just going to fully expand it so it's bigger and the longer this is the slower it's going to take so I'm going to do something like that and then I'm just going to scrub through right so that's not that's too slow I think so I'm going to make it like that I still think that's a little bit too slow there Actually, I'm going to make I'm going to make this a little bit more dynamic here. So when we're here, I guess I want to go down to here, and then once we're here, I want to add yet another one. Make that a little longer, and this side, I want the whole thing in. So let's just have a look at that. So I'm happy with that and I just want to check so I'm going to click exit camera. So I just want to check we don't have that double hand which we had before. Uh -huh. So that is arrow four. And what's the next thing that's drawn? The unboxing video. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, there's ever such a slight overlap there. So I'm just going to move that and that should take care of it. Yep, that takes care of it. OK, so let's watch this start to end. So this is ever so slightly different now to what we saw in the intro. And that creates a really good dynamic mind mapped video. Excellent.